On the third day of the Asia-Pacific Disaster Risk Reduction Conference, the 70 international delegates hashed over the provisions and guidelines of the UN-adopted Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction to include the four key priorities and seven global targets of the Global Agreement. A total of 21 town hall meetings have been held thus far, one of which took on the issue of gender-responsive solutions and efforts that our Benji Durango covers in this story. In 2015, the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction was adopted. This is a global agreement among countries to reduce the impact of disasters. These four key priorities of the Sendai Framework focus on people and property and must be identified by participating countries. This includes identifying disasters, proper governance, strengthening capabilities, and preparedness. In addition to the seven global targets for a country to be considered disaster resilient, it includes reducing the negative impact of disasters on people, infrastructure, awareness of disasters, international cooperation, implementation of disaster risk management, and strengthening the community. UNDRR has held the convention three times. This year, it was held in the Philippines as the first regional platform since the adoption of the political declaration of the Sendai Framework Midterm Review. We have many different uh, uh, situations that uh, come and uh, impact the way that when a disaster happens, we, uh, how we can uh, build resilience or how we can recover. We as a sector need to have more conversations like this to create more spaces where diverse uh, voices can be heard. As part of the Asia-Pacific region, which is frequently hit by disasters such as earthquakes, typhoons, and volcanic eruptions, the Philippines is considered a watchtower of disaster risk reduction. It is historic that the convention was held in the Philippines because it is here where the implementation, policy dialogue, knowledge sharing, advocacy, and mobilization will be ironed out. As of today, 21 town hall discussions have been held at the PICC. One of the topics discussed was gender equality. The problems and solutions faced by women during disasters were examined in detail. In addition to ensuring their safety, the challenges before, during, and after disasters must also be addressed. It is where the Sendai Gender Action Plan comes in. Proactive governance is one of the seen solutions. Our country remains predominantly anchored on reactive disaster response, increasing the dependence on relief goods and provisionary assistance. As a result, the economic mobility and sustainable development are sacrificed. For example, during evacuations, it must be ensured that disaster risk reduction efforts are gender responsive. It's a good idea, but still new to us. We don't necessarily know yet how to be gender responsive in terms of, to be, to be really gender responsive. In Asia-Pacific nations, Fiji has a clear gender inclusivity when it comes to disaster response. There are five ways why Fiji's disaster risk reduction is gender sensitive that can be emulated in the country. Although it has not yet been adopted in the Philippines, it is not impossible. We focus on ensuring that everyone, especially the most vulnerable, experience equitable safety and dignity before, during, and even after disasters. This is just one of the contents of the 21 town hall discussions held here at the PICC. Although the combined intelligence of the 3,000 delegates from different countries, we are sure to learn how we can face a disaster in a way that no Filipino will be left behind. Benji Durango from the National TV for New and Better Philippines.